D.E. Daniels Lion's Den Ministries, featuring Reverend Donald E. Daniels Sr. Preaching God's Word for more than 30 years. Believing that God can transform lives. That those who believe and trust in God can change and have a better day. God will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Today's message, I am willing to sit, Psalms 110. Now let's hear Reverend Daniel. in my heart to serve the Lord. What a wonderful song. I want to share with you today Psalms number 110. David writes, and Jesus referred to it in, uh, in his preaching, that David prophesied when he wrote the Lord said to my Lord, sit thee at my right hand while I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Roll thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. 
Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the, in the day of his wrath. He's a judge among heathens. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. May the Lord bless the reading, the hearers, the doers of his most holy and blessed word. I'm willing to sit. I'm willing to sit. All the wonderful songs in which David prophesied about the Lord Jesus. When he said, the Lord said, sit at my right hand. David was not talking about himself. And he wasn't talking about himself talking to his sons. But he was talking about God talking to his son, our Savior. Sit thee at my right hand while I make thine enemies thy footstool. Until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Sit. I want to prophesy to you today, how willing are you to just sit and let God work things out for you? Let him put your enemies at your feet. Let him put your finances under your feet. Let him put your troubles under your feet, your enemies under your feet, your worries, your anxieties. Let him put those under your feet. How willing are you to just sit, sit and be still and know that he is God. He is the creator and maker of all things and God will never fail. The beautiful thing that we have that many in this world do not have, the princes of this world, the kings of this world, the son of man of this world. What they don't have is they don't have a savior by our side. Just as the man who was walking on the sandy beach and he had been walking for a while and he noticed that every time he went through troubles and trials, there was only one set of footprints in the sand. But he noticed, so he asked the Lord, Jesus, who walked beside him that day, why is it that when I was having trouble, there was only one set of footprints in the sand. And the Lord said to him, those times when you only saw one set of footprints, that was when I was carrying you. And so true is that in our days, in our times of trouble, in our, in our life, the Lord is taking us through those things. He was not kidding us. He was not just babbling words when he said, come unto me. Matthew 11 and 28, ye who are heavy, with burdens, come unto me. He says, take my yoke and learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burdens are light. He was not babbling words. Those are words that he means. So just sit still. Sit still and wait until he has put your enemies under your feet. It's hard, but you can do it. You can wait on the, on the Lord, as David said in Psalms 27, wait, I say, on the Lord. When thy mother and father forsake you, you don't have to get in an uproar. When your enemies come around and try to eat up your flesh, you don't have to get into a battle with them because God will cause them to stumble and fall. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Sit still. I'm willing to sit. I'm willing to sit still and see what the end is going to be. It might get antsy sometimes. It might feel like I need to do something. I need to put my hands in it to win it. But don't touch it. Just sit there and wait on the Lord. 
seeing the glory of the Lord as it passed by. And I'm, sometimes it may not be in the wind. It may not be in the great earthquake. It may not be in the fire. It may be in a still, small voice. But sit still. Well, I'll remind you once again, how can you run with the horses if you have gone with the footmen and they have tired you? So just wait, just sit and see what the end is going to be. Everything will be all right. Father, we thank you for this word and we pray that you will bless those who hear this word. Touch them right now from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet to sit still and wait on you for I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor the seed begging bread. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless and God keep you is our prayer.